Hi friends, in the previous tutorial we have already seen how we uh, re written data in our Excel by using Python OpenPy Excel library and uh, we have been from different sources like leaks, dictionary and database we have taken data and inserted to our Excel file. Now we will see how we will read data from this Excel file. This is a sample student file having ID, name, class, mark and gender. These five columns are there and around 35 records are there. So these 35 records we will try to read in total or in part or from row wise, column wise from different locations. We will read the data and we can that data we can use it for now various other purposes and we are using our OpenPy Excel library for all this. We will learn about this. We will start from here. Uh, if you are not installed OpenPy Excel then just uh, use pip install open by excel in your command prompt or even if you can upgrade it here are the all the commands are there now we are using our student excel page so this we have downloaded and kept it in our d drive in your case if you have placed it in a, some other location just change the path and the sample student file is already available the link is there in the description you can download it and use it the same student file we will be using so it is better you download the same file and at the first we are loading the workbook and then this line we are connecting to the first seat or the, the our seat name you have given a student in your case if you are given some other name you can use it once you give the seat name our worksheet is object is created now in this let's just for our testing let's print one uh, we'll take pick up one cell value ws this is the worksheet cell sorry cell now which location it's let's say um, cell 2 comma 3 so it's a row 2 it's not zero index it is one index so 2 comma is uh, 3 so id first is id name class so it should pick up the class then we'll say pick up the value so we are saying value was this at this location we should get the output here because we are printing to our console here see you see it is 4 we are printing now if i'll change it uh, same row let's print the name part so 2 by 2 now let's print the name should come here see the name as is here let's print some multiple rows we'll remove this command from here now we'll go we'll use iterate rows so we'll loop through the rows and print the values so for that let's say for data in ws works it iter iterate rows columns will later we'll see iterate rows where from we'll start now here we'll say that max column or maximum column you go is 5 because we have only 5 columns so we'll tell okay up to 5 fifth column so we are getting all the 5 columns id uh, name class mark and gender so all the 5 columns now we are saying max sorry we are saying max rows max row we are saying 5 go up to 5 row i can go up to 35 also but i am saying max row is 5 now i'll say values only values only is true means it will not pick up the cell name it will pick up the values only so that's all so in that i can loop it so i am using a directly using a for loop now here what i want to do is let's print the first is the id and name these two things will print so we'll say print now we'll say data data 0 0 means it's the id the first column then next is the name column so i'll say data and 1 so i am printing id name next line next id name so like that it should loop and print me the detail so i am saving this running it you can see i took it on a ma sorry it is max m a x max rows okay let's run this okay we have got all the five records just let me just move up here here it is so id name note that the first is id name these are the column headers and then five rows i have gone so one this is the first row one second row third fourth fifth so fifth five rows are it has id and name suppose i want to print the one more column also so next is data two now what i it will print it will print me the you can see the class is id name class so you can as well extend it to third and fourth to get the uh, our uh, mark and gender let's say, let's extend this and add other rows also uh, sorry other columns so third also i am adding so and next is the gender data and four so all the 
five columns I am printing but this time what I will do I let's you can see here ID name class at the top it is showing will not print the header only the data part so for that what you will do here we'll add one thing minimum rows where from it should start so min row minimum row equal to two see it starts from one what you are giving is minimum row means start from the second next row second row so the header is cut now maximum column let's be five maximum row will just increase by one so six we are giving so th this is both minimum rows minimum column maximum rows maximum columns that way we can specify it so i am just saving this let's run and see how's the output you just see here this is you can see only the data part for, sorry here to here the only the data part one two three four five ids it has given now let's use ETR columns. So we'll be looping through the columns and getting the data. So I'm what I am doing is I am I'll just change this one to C O L S columns. I am saying and let's print the all the first six names. So for five names. So for that we'll we are now going through columns. So minimum row let's keep it as two and minimum column we'll add it here. Minimum call minimum call is equal to 2 because 2 is our name column now then max row max row is 6 and here minimum column minimum column we have given so now we'll give maximum column also 2 so in that case only it will pick up the name column only so because minimum column is 2 maximum column is 2 so particularly 2 and 2 column is our name so start from the two means after the header cell you start and end at the fifth row so we'll get we'll get second third fourth and fifth so this uh, much names will get it value only true but here is one issue because we'll have get an error because in the read only mode with this uh, iterate columns won't work let's see what error message we are getting let me just run this here you can see read only worksheet object and no attribute itr columns did you mean itr rows okay so for that we'll make this false now let's save this and run see here you have all the names up to this so one two three four five five names are picked up because we are looping through the columns now Two more commands we'll learn and then we'll move to the advanced one probably in the next part so let's just uh, uh, two important column uh, commands in this is suppose you, you in this also you want that let header be included so then in that case what you do this minimum one let us make it one what happened now the it will pick up the header cell also uh, header column also so let's see how it is see what's this this name is also included now because again this you have to increase it because one last name it has excluded so let's put keep it seven so it will pick up the same list with the additional name you can see here see here everything is there now if suppose i want how many works it number and uh, let me just comment this both the lines i will print at the end okay now let's uh, print the what is the maximum what is the column count and what is the row count so we'll say print now ws is the worksheet now max column fine similarly next let's print max row let's save this i'm running so it is five first columns are five and here rows are 36 so this includes the uh, our header also so this is the minimum functionality and there are many other functions also open by by uh, excel offers us for various calculations now you can easily uh, take the data from our student file and display it in a kinter window so we'll use a tree view and insert it similarly we can take the data and push it to my sqlite database or mysql database any other database you can see next part we'll learn about that how we'll read data and manage in our applications so uh, we'll stop here i'll request you please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we add new new tutorials we frequently do that also and if you have any doubts suggestions questions use the comment section below to post it 
please share this video with your friends and thank you for watching